Yeah. Now, talking about Potts, Chelsea, uh, there's an obvious fit there. Mm. And the story's come out yesterday about Harry Kane mm. building a house long term where he wants his future, his, his family to be in Wentworth, which is not mm. far from Cobham, the training ground, which has inevitably led to stories that mm. maybe Harry Kane will go to Spain go to Chelsea on a, <laughs> on a free maybe next season when, yeah. he's, when his contract runs out at Tottenham. I mean, could you ever see that happening? I mean, I think Pochettino would love that and uh, Daniel Levy would hate that. So yeah, yeah, the end of their friendship for sure. Um, so yeah, I think that it, it could only happen on a free transfer. Yeah. And even then, maybe Kane would feel you know, uncomfortable about it maybe. Yeah. I think that he might consider... I mean, you can always go away to Manchester for a few years and maybe upset people a bit less than doing that. But um, it certainly would be controversial. It would be almost um, Sol Campbell-esque. Well, that's it? the one yeah. I was thinking yeah. of. I mean, he's never been forgiven, has he, for that one from, no. from Tottenham fans? So, yeah, it's, mm. um, it's playing a little bit dangerously with his legacy yeah. if he does that. Um, certainly, I think from Chelsea perspective, you'd be interested. Um, and I think they might have a need for a striker next summer as well, especially if they don't sign another one, because they might be going to the season with... Christopher and Kunku up front alongside Armando Breuer and also um, Jackson, Nicholas Jackson. So two inexperienced ones and not a proper striker. So Well, they've got yeah. one on the books, yeah. Lukaku. Well, yeah. So, yeah, and true. that's a big what's player the, to have on your cards. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, they've also got uh, Aubameyang as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we think, I think we can assume Aubameyang's going, yeah, gone, but, yeah. but Lukaku is still a major player, oh. isn't he? And, you know, it didn't work out the second time around for him. I, but uh, is there any way back? I don't think so. Not for him. I think for Chelsea, they would maybe be open to it. But I think it's become very clear recently that there's no way back for him in his mind because I think that it's almost traumatic, the experience he had at Chelsea. Mm. You know, He's really lost the fans. Does he want to come into an environment where he's up against it right away? And that's potentially what it would be. So um, he's rejected a lot of offers from Saudi Arabian clubs. I think it's Al Hilal, the club that's really pushing for him. And, and Inter Milan is the one he wants. So he's kind of waiting it out, hoping the two clubs can come to a deal. But Chelsea have said no loans for him or for pretty much any senior experienced player right now. So they're just trying to sell everyone. Everyone's for sale in that sort of category of Lukaku, you know, Koulibaly, Mendy. A lot of them have gone to Saudi, but the ones who aren't going to Saudi, they still want to sell them. Mm. So I think they're happy to sell him if he wants to go, you know. Mount wanted to go, um, Havertz wanted to go, and now Lukaku wants to go. So... Yeah, it's probably the best and easiest thing to try and get him out of the door relatively quickly. And that number nine is a, yeah. is a jinx, isn't it? The number nine shirt at Chelsea. Yeah. For, for 10 <laughs> years or more, it's been an absolute, you know, know. who would take that on there? Credit to Aubameyang for taking it, but it's not worked out for him yeah. either. But yeah, And he said that, didn't he? He said, yeah. I don't mind. I, I don't <laughs> yeah. feel it's going to be a jinx, but wow. But the, the, the striker option at Chelsea, we're actually, in our first podcast, by the way, and if you haven't checked it out, please do with Darmesh. Um, we were talking about the striker option at Chelsea and MM in the chat as well. Shout out to you has said the exact same thing um, what is your thoughts on the striker situation at Chelsea mm. because we mentioned Lukaku we mentioned Aubameyang but for me the last striker I could remember at Chelsea that really really delivered was probably Diego Costa Yeah. the, the year they won the league of course he was absolutely fantastic Fabregas in midfield as yeah. well Chelsea haven't really had too much of an issue maybe in defence maybe in midfield their striker and scoring goals mm. has been the real real problem yeah. especially under Graham Potter as well no goals really at all yeah. So, where do, how do you assess that? Is Jackson the man to fill that spot up front, or I, I, I'm a bit nervous about Jackson. He's young, he's unproven, he's a bit of a rough diamond. I, I wrote, a, I wrote a nice piece about him that's that's coming out soon on on the standard, and sort of looked into his background. But he's really, he's really only had you know two or three months of of great football where he's really. Um, dominated. I mean, even at Villarreal, he started the season on the bench. Um, Unai Emery had him in and out a little bit when he was managing there, now at Villa. Um, so he's kind of had to really prove himself this season, and he has, and he's done really well, but I just don't think he's established yet. So we can't guarantee he'll be a success, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, maybe the maybe they're really clever Chelsea. Maybe they found a gem that they can you know turn into a top player. So that, mm. I think that that's what they're thinking. But they're gonna have to do some work with them, I think. And uh, same with Breuer. Um, I really like him. He's a great talent. But he should be fit, shouldn't yeah, he? But it's whether he he's a fit. a goal machine, which yeah. he's not really, is he? He's he's more a no. wide player who can come in and score goals. Well, I think he could become a, a goal machine, but he's just sort of finding his feet at this level. Mm. I think a bit. So 
Um, I think that Pochettino has some work to do around the forwards, but I think just having, I think the most important thing really for Chelsea is almost tactical. It's looking beyond this. It's, it's about building a team spirit and, and hopefully some people will step up with goals. I mean, Sterling's in the past has got great goal returns, so you can get goals from other places. Liverpool get the goals from the wings, so it doesn't have to be the front men, does it? 